I know you might not be familiar with practical exams, so I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what to expect on the day of your final exams. So you, on your finals, will go to your regular lab room at your regular lab time. The door will be closed, and the instructor will let you in only when they are ready to actually begin the exams. As you enter the room, the instructor will tell you where to sit, so you won't just go to your regular seat. You'll need to store all of your stuff. Um, out of the way so that nobody trips as we're walking around, but you should keep your pencil or pen, an eraser, and a calculator with you. You will stand at one of the lab seats, and there will be 12 questions total, so one question at each seat um, with sort of the left side of the room having questions 1 through 12, and the right side of the room also have questions 1 through 12. Uh, you will have five minutes for each question. There will be a large timer up on the board, so you always know how much time you have left. At the end of that question, if you were at question two, you would then move on to question three, etc. So it should take about an hour to go through all the questions. In terms of what to expect at each question, some of them will be hands-on, where you might be asked to pipette something or plate something. Basically, do any of the techniques that you've been using throughout the semester and you might need to, say, turn in a tube at the end of that, or the instructor might watch you do a technique. Uh, but there will also be questions that are not hands-on, but there might be data, and you're asked to make a graph, or um, you need to run some statistics, or maybe you need to write a methods section, or there's a research question, and you have to come up with an experimental plan to attack it. So lots of different sort of questions all on the content about what you've been doing in lab this semester. After the practical exam, there will be a little break where you can run to the bathroom, grab a bite to eat if you need to, so you know, a five minute break. When you come back, you'll have one hour to complete a multiple choice exam. Most students don't take anywhere near the hour, but we give you an hour so that time is definitely not an issue. And that's, again, just a regular Scantron multiple choice. Make sure you've got your calculator and number two pencil for that. In terms of my recommendations for how to study for our final exams, uh, at the start of all of our PowerPoints, we talk about the learning objectives for that day and also list out sort of the techniques and the activities that you'll be doing in lab. So review those, make sure they are all familiar and you feel good about all of those. Look through your lab notebook to remind yourself about some of the details of all the lab techniques you've done. You can also look at the videos to again refresh on techniques or specific content areas. And then I post all of the quizzes from all of the days up on Blackboard, so there should be lots of quizzes that you could go through and review um, to sort of refresh on the content and see how we could ask you about those things maybe in a different way.